Mr. White. I'm Mr. White. This is a This is a bit. Did you ever watch El Camino? Welcome back to El Camino. Did you ever watch El Camino? No. It's not worth watching. Nope. Okay. Well, good thing I didn't watch it, though. <laughs> you know what that is, right? It's like the continuation of Breaking Bad, but yeah. in movie form. I'll give you the Crypt Notes version of it. Jesse Pinkman comes back, and he's like, I need to leave. So then he does odd jobs to make money to go and talk to that guy that like was supposed to like relocate him or whatever. Mm-hmm. So like he doesn't have enough money... He talks to he talks to the guy that was supposed to relocate him. He doesn't have enough money. He's like, give me more money. So then he goes and like robs some people, and then he gets the money, and then he goes to Alaska, and that's the end of the movie. I'm gonna coom. That's the whole movie in a nutshell. You don't need to watch it now. Okay. Well, I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> no, Billy. You told me like last week that you were planning on watching it. Yeah, I was like, Jesse, I'm gonna coom. Oh yeah, I should watch that movie. <laughs> You know, with Brian, Brian, Brian Durgan, Brian, Chris, Chris Bradshaw, Brian Layfield, Brian Regan, yeah, Brian Regan. Isn't that a porn girl? Isn't that, is, Taylor? Is that a porn girl? You're no. with your encyclopedic porn girl knowledge. No. I mean, if she is one, I don't know who that is. Are you telling Brian me? Regan? <laughs> Are you telling me that your porn encyclopedia knowledge is missing? No, I just nobody matches that um, in the database. Yeah, that data that name does not appear in the database. Okay, at least uh, at least under a female name, I would assume. Right. Well, Brian Regan's a comedian, I think. Is he? Yeah. That's basically like a porn. Act. Porn star. I guess. It's you know you're. He's a dance monkey. Yeah, you dance monkey. That funky junkie. Do you have a list of porn stars that you that you pull from? Um. No, not really. No. No, I, I more go by category. Oh, okay. I'm not, I'm a category man. See, I like when I when I find a girl I like I I try to find more. But depends. You know me. You know me. I like I like my short hair girls, and there's not very many of them. No. So when you find one that you like, you know, and then you find out that they only have like three videos, it's very disappointing. Do a little more. Do a little dance. Me a little love. Get black tonight. Oh shit! Get black tonight. You are very stressed, Billy. You need Am to I? take Am a I? chill pill. I mean, let me just. Get in that shade, baby. <laughs> but it's still going up because you're not in the shade. If you get in the shade, it'll go down. <coughs> you know, it's just hot. <laughs> it's just hot out. That shit is hot. So we're back to Metal Gear after the blunder that was last episode. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to remember her name. I think it starts with Blue something. Ew. Who's that? So it's some poor porn star. Um, what? What is she? she? She's a porn star. Like, what do you mean? But I mean, like, why? What? Like, what's special about her? Oh, just that she has a shorter haircut. There's one named McKenna Blue. That's the one that I like. No, definitely not that. That's funny that you say blue though, because the one girl that I'm thinking of has short hair, <laughs> and her name is McKenna Blue. Yeah, she has blue hair. No, I don't know. Who yeah. That is. Nope. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I you know. McKenna Blue does not have blue hair. Oh. I mean, maybe she did at one point, but I've never seen it. No, actually, no. She, that is not the girl, because... Hello. Excuse me. <laughs> the Matrix is real. <laughs> the, what? Oh, no! no! <laughs> <sighs> I beat you up and down, bitch. Oh my god, this dude's a master! He is a ma- okay, never mind. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking man. Made me break my old man legs. <laughs> I always like it when you have to describe something as an old man version of the thing. <laughs> something, oh, old, old man dookie. <laughs> <Holy> <laughs> 
<laughs> like, is that any different from like a regular person dookie? I well, mean, it's definitely different from a young man dookie. I guess. <clears throat> and my legs... But I mean, he's been taking his men abuse, so he's got some pretty firm dookie, you know? <laughs> think I can make it over the mountains? <laughs> I don't think you can. I don't think you can go... Can you go over there? I don't think you're... <laughs> oh, nope. I oh, you fucking <laughs> killed your old man, old man. <laughs> Why did the strings appear on him? What was the. Uh, I was a puppet all along. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, I guess. Uh, Mantis. Mantis is, is, Mantis is near, I guess. Mantis is the one who killed me like that. I guess because it was suicide? Is that is that the. the suicide? No dreaming. Is that what we're Do supposed to pull from that? That you, know, like, you killed yourself? Probably. So, like, uh, probably. the strings were being pulled? Uh, can I just. We just skip. How come you can't skip these ones, but you can skip every other cutscene? Yeah, I know. What did that guy throw? <clears throat> oh, because yeah, oh, it's smooth. Smoke grenade. See, last time it, I don't think it went off. No, it did. Did it? Okay. Yeah, it did. I just didn't pay attention. Though. Oh my god. Yoink. Yoink. Yeah, the search, right, the search for the, the your favorite porn star can be a difficult <laughs> one. I almost missed that ration. Sup, gentlemen. Nice feet. I'll take them. Yeah, I'll help you out. Oh, wow. oh my old man's shoulder. Oh, my old man. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. What's even happening? <laughs> yeah, just play dead, man. I'm another casualty of this proxy war. Who even shot that guy? Yeah, I know. I kind of, I do, I will honestly say I do kind of actually enjoy that aspect of the game in the sense that, like, they have this, um, like, illusion of so much chaos going on. Obviously, like, I think they're just, like, you know... They have like these scripted parts where like just bullets are just hitting random things and explosions going off randomly, but like you know, but it looks really good. Yeah, it's cool. Like it, it makes it feel like you know, like an actual battlefield type type scenario. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. God damn it, dude! Excuse I me. fucking love this game. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good. Like game. just looking and watching you playing it, like this, it's so cool. It, it, like, like nothing like this happens in Metal Gear Solid Five. Not even once. Yeah. <laughs> like nothing even close to this, in my opinion. You know, that's the thing about making your own versus, uh, you know, scripted. I, you know, in a game like this, I'd rather have scripted, honestly. Yeah, me too. You know, that's why I did not like Five. I didn't like Five either. Yeah, we're gonna play it. Yep. Because gotta finish out the main punishment. We gotta find a way to do the twin snakes also. Who's seeing me? That's my question. I think it was the sniper man. Sniper? Yeah, that's the one that you fucking. The, up there. The, the When you killed yourself, that guy. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, Got him. Yeah, we should. We gotta find a way to do uh, twin snakes. Because I have that game. Apparently, that game is really rare now. Yeah, it is. Not like super rare to where, you know, no one's ever going to be able to buy it without spending hundreds of dollars, but rare still. Well, I thought it was kind of on that level, but maybe I, I just, I, it's not I like think I, it's like 800. It's not like, I don't, you know, I don't. Why aren't you killing me? <laughs> he was angry. He was afraid. <laughs> Give me that. You got to talk to Tobin about getting uh, Eternal Darkness. Oh yeah, I gotta see if my sister has that still. Oh, I was thinking about trying to hook it up to, to see if I can get it to work on the TV. Like, you know, for us to play like standard def games. And uh, I just, I haven't uh, decided to try it recently because I'm like, fuck it. We had enough other games that we're going to be playing that it's not really something that I'm too worried about at the moment. Yeah. Where's my, where's my iPad? <laughs> And click the right stick to select. Yeah. There you go. Alright, um. Let me just go songs. Uh, 
because of all of the force calling to the night. Yeah. <laughs> Some rubble go flying. <laughs> As I'm just laying here, there's bullets, uh, there's explosions nearby, and I'm just. I gotta take an old man nap. You need a recliner for that. <laughs> you need a recliner. <laughs> you just. Yeah, like an inflatable. inflatable. <laughs> it even has the working fucking camera. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, man. <laughs> oh god. One more safety. <laughs> what does he do with old man music? On his old man iPod. <laughs> where's Where's Old Snake? That's a good song too. I probably have that. Uh, <gasps> see, like they should have had this in, like you know. Um, no old snake? What the fuck? I think you have to... Uh, I probably have to find it. Oishi Tuhan Seikatsu. Oishi means delicious, I think. <laughs> I wonder what that is. That's like that Goofy song, isn't it? Oishi Tuhan Seikatsu. Oh. It's a fucking, like, anime opening. I don't know. Like, where the fuck was this shit in, in uh... Okay. I'm not stressed out. Another solid five, you know? There's no character. There's no class. I mean, I guess they had the... Like, all the, there is is ass. They had the tape player in that one, I guess, though. You could technically do the same thing, I suppose. The only thing that matters, Taylor, is that you get to look at a half-naked woman all the time. Story-relevant half-naked woman. Yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> you okay? Oh, My yeah, you're good. I, like really, <laughs> that was that that was stupid. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, why she has to be like half naked all the time? Like really, because oh, she breathes through her skin, Taylor. Yeah, I know it's really stupid though. Like that's really dumb. I am your master. You know there there's enough things that I can kind of like you know accept as like just being weird. You know, like in the Metal Gear games. There's weird shit that happens in this one. You know, there's weird shit that happens in all of them. Yeah. But, like, that is just stupid. Like, in hindsight, looking at it, like, that's really stupid. <laughs> I think it's literally just a reason to have TNA. Oh, it is. Absolutely. Wow. It's nice TNA, because TNA is always nice. Oh, and she's, like, modeled after, like, an actual person. I mean, yeah. She, like, she looks good. I'm not, like, I'm not saying she doesn't look good, but it's just, like, really? Like, that's what we're doing in this game? We're gonna have a girl who's, like, you know, wearing nothing but, you know, a bikini and pantyhose the whole game? Like, that's just kind of weird. I yeah, know. I mean, battle attire. And then, at, at toward the end of the game, I think if you do all of, like, her missions or whatever, like... She'll give you a foot job. Well, you know she dies at the end, right? Mm, you can save her. Yeah, I, did they change that? Yeah, it, it's a, it was always a thing. It was just, uh, there were certain things you had to do. Oh, well, in mine she died, and then it's like you can never use her again as, like, an ally or whatever. Yeah, you which can is really save annoying, her. Because she was really, like, good. Yeah. Well, no, because at the end of the game, or, like, you, like... She snake, talks. Well, snake, yeah, Snake takes, like, cover, and then there's a snake that bites him or something, just arbitrarily out of nowhere. And then she has to call somebody on the radio... And by her speaking, it activates the virus that's inside of her or something. Yeah. Which is really dumb. <laughs> I don't know. Time to start the next then one. I don't, then I don't know what to do to save her. I have no idea. There, There's a whole thing you have to... It's basically you have to do all the, uh, the special quests for her. Oh, uh, okay. No. I and then I think that. you don't bring her for that, like part of the quest line because uh, if you don't bring her then she's not the one that's there to help you uh, to talk uh, which I mean makes sense I guess but you know it's just not something you would expect why well, couldn't steak talk I forget because he, he got he, bite. yeah he got his bitten. throat his throat got all <laughs> I don't know Mary's Half Life sucks yeah <laughs> 
just push harder. There's parts of it that are cool, but like on the whole, yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of it. Like I just I'm not really into what they did with it. I don't know, because it's like you know you see a game like this, like this right here was like the trailer for a period of time, like when the game was first announced or whatever. Like this was a trailer for the game. <laughs> Yeah. And it's like, look at how, like, well animated and scripted this whole thing is. Like, nothing like that happens in 5 at all, basically. I think that's the only guy who lives. Yeah, the guy who gets out and runs yeah. away. Yeah, I think runs you're right. Away first. I think you're right. Everyone else gets eagle, octopus, or uh, fucking uh, mantis. Um, the wolf. Wolfed. Look at that taut ass. I know, it's great. Wolf. It's awesome. She's like the least sexy of the four. You're just saying that because she's black. <laughs> <laughs> Octopus is the most sexy. Well, yeah, duh. That's why. That's why I like her. She kind of looks like that porn star I was telling you about, McKenna Blue. She kind of looks like that. <laughs> See, the porn star I'm thinking of. I think her oh. name is Billy something. Billy Eilish. Yeah, yeah Billy Eilish. You just like you just like her because she's named after you. Well, she she's got like uh, short black hair, mm. and she does anal, and I like that. Oh, you would. <clears throat> you would. Is that? Oh, there he is. Uh, is that? Is that laughing octopus? <laughs> <laughs> he's totally wrong immediately. That might be okay. He just got swatted. Ooh, he's definitely not okay. He's he's not okay. But the other guy just got swatted. He might be alright. Yeah, he might be unconscious, but that's about it then. Rape! I mean, rage. We gotta keep this PG-18. He got off lucky. Debra. Just fucking crushing your spine. Ah... Ouch. Those guys might be alive too. Probably not. With how hard it hit, like if it's yeah. hitting those things, or that thing and knocking it over, yeah, yeah those probably guys not. are probably dead. No, probably Maybe dead. that one guy lived. That guy's definitely dead. He gets stepped on by the rage machine. It's like Doc Ock, man. It's pretty dope. Of the of the four, the Mantis fight is probably the most underwhelming. Yeah. Which is a sad thing, I think. Obviously the best fight is probably Octopus and then yeah. and then uh Falcon. Black I, Falcon. I would say I I think I like Wolf more. Then, then, um, Wolf's not bad. Raven. Wolf and Wolf and Raven are pretty close. Yeah, Raven. The thing I don't like about Raven is it's very much like you just shoot the shit out of her and that's it. Yeah. Like there's really not like more to it than that. I mean, you know, Whereas like, Wolf, Wolf kind of plays like you know. Obviously, they're kind of paralleling a lot of the the um, older games in some way. So like Wolf, they kind of tried to emulate like the sniper battle that you had with Wolf in Metal Gear Solid One. Yep. You know, so I kind of enjoy that because you can play it that way. Like there's these towers that you can go up and stuff. And Are then... you alive, sir? Because I think you're the one who'd be alive. Nope. Nope. Thanks for the rations. Um, yeah, like they're trying to. Obviously, do the like a parallel between all of them, and yeah, Wolf, you can kind of still do like a sniper battle type thing, which I think is pretty cool. The Mantis one is just underwhelming, just because like the way in which you defeat or like damage her is really stupid. Like you get one of the dolls or whatever, and then like anything that you shoot the doll at, like you can control with the six axis. Yeah. And so you do that with her, and then you shake the controller around, and she just flops around for a second, and then she's dead. Like, how does that do damage? It's really weird. Come on, guys. I want to pretend. They're coming. They're just taking their time. Maybe you have to walk forward more to trigger them, because I don't, I don't think they're moving now. Yeah. 
There you go. Now they come up. <laughs> Who's that breathing? <laughs> Sorry. My old man lungs don't uh, <laughs> don't work so good. What do you Oh, here they come. Here they go. <gasps> he saw you. No, he didn't. Yeah, that was always the thing with this part, is like, yeah, you can fake fake them. Come on, look at my toe See that would have been cool too. Like that could be like a kind of an interesting mechanic too. Like you play dead, obviously, like in like a area full of bodies, you know? Yeah. Like, that's cool. Don't scare me like that. Who? Although part of it, I, I always thought that part of it was because you're camouflaged in, like they just don't even see you. Yeah. Because if you're standing in their path, they might walk across you and they might realize that you're alive. I don't know. I don't remember. Guess we'll see. So I'm right in the middle. I'm right in the middle with you. Here I am. I don't know. Metal Gear Solid Five added a lot of interesting new, like new things. I'll give it that much, but at the same time, like I don't know, I just feel like the core experience was not very fulfilling. I don't really like how they had all that stupid resource management bullshit because it just distracts from like the main course of the game. I think. Here we go. Oh, you better <laughs> see, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> but little did they know. I felt that was going to happen, but... This was going to happen. I like how you're not even CQC-ing them. <laughs> no need to CQC when you got this much cock. That was pretty... <laughs> you got this old man cock. <laughs> this old man cock. <laughs> it's more seasoned. <laughs> Oh shit, you got the whole fucking platoon coming out, dude. <laughs> you see that shit? They're all up there. They're all there, dude. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Why would they single out that that gunfire, you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Did you not just hear all the gunfire and screaming coming from, like, the, the B&Bs being up here, you know? I don't think maybe it was just a straggler. Yeah, right. He looked right at you and didn't notice, so he might be... Might be all right. Unless they come right at you. Ooh, that guy's got a fucking underslug. <laughs> this is fucking metal guitar in the back. Oh, dur, 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 dur. <laughs> you could have you were like the caution was literally over. <laughs> and then you fucking yeah. make it man dead. God, Billy. Fuck you. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you <laughs> man legs don't fail you now. <laughs> you literally could have just fucking waited one more second. <laughs> old man legs failed me. My old man logic didn't make any sense. I just decided to run. <laughs> I thought I could outrun them. <laughs> but the caution was almost up. Like, you could have just waited. And then they would have been like, all right, let's leave. That's what I thought you were going to do. No, no. Because <laughs> you see, if I did that, then they would have just came over and been like, oh, there's he is. And then I'd be in a corner with all oh. those bitches. I feel like in every one of these games, there's always a cutscene, at least, where, like, we're in stealth, and then, like, a bunch of people die right in front of us. Yeah. No, I'm trying to think, like, in Metal Solid 1, where would, where did that happen? Hmm. I don't know if it happened in 1. But 2 it happened, with Vamp. And 3 it happened when, uh... Ocelot comes out and kills the dudes. Yeah. 
On this one, we just watched it happen with the B&Bs. Did it happen in one? Uh, yeah, uh, when uh, Ryan. No, or no, not Ryan. No, um, it was on Gray Fox. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's funny how there's always a scene like that in every one of them. I never noticed that until just now. <laughs> I liked it in Twin Snakes when they redid that scene with uh, um, with with uh, Gray Fox because I don't know if they did it in the in the original. They might have. I don't remember. <clears throat> but um, he fucking like like sweet kicks a dude, kicks him up in the air, and then fucking slices him right in half. And I, and I remember the first time I saw that, I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> like, that's brutal. Because <laughs> he cuts him right, right down the middle. Like, just... Yeah. Like, and he's just cut right in half. And I'm like, damn, dude. <laughs> what do we do? I, I didn't even see what happened. Because I was reveling in the, the memory of Grey Fox bisecting the person. That guy was over there, he saw me, and then I went over here. Oh. Well, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. Except for skin right here. You could totally see my little shoulder. Your old man shoulder? Yeah, my old... My little old man shoulder. <laughs> Don't hurt me, I'm old! <laughs> oh, well, he is old. <laughs> I'm sure he used that at least once. Yeah. It's like, don't, I'm so old, but look at his rippling muscles. <laughs> look at his butt. Look at his old man butt. <laughs> it's tight. You can tell that he it's works out. Tight. Tight. Hot. Wet. And sweet. <laughs> and old. <laughs> it's old man butt. It's a wet, tight, hot, sweet old man butt. Old man butt. Have you ever heard anybody unironically say "but" like "but," like "but," with a with an extra t? Yeah, with like the uh, special no. <laughs> special attention paid paid to the T's at the end. Ooh, baby. I think it says somewhere in like the night vision that like <laughs> that you can that like the night vision like makes a hum that people can hear or something. I could see that. Does it say that in the item description? No. I think I, I swear they say that somewhere in the game. Like if you have the night vision on and you're sneaking up on somebody, like they can hear you. Cause. Yeah, like it's got like this like hum that like comes with it or oh, something. People putting nudes in here. Get it? Billy, I love nudes, man. Me too. Long, skinny ones, ones with big breasts. I love <laughs> all kinds about of nudes. Fucking, like naked women in factory sluts all night long. You know? Because that's life. Life's a box of factory sluts. You never know what you're going to get. Well, it's normally syphilis. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like, you never know. Yeah. It could be anything. <laughs> could be crabs. <laughs> could be, uh, could be gonorrhea. Chlamydia. I'm going to name my daughter that. That sounds good. That's a nice name. <laughs> Suppressed M4. Oh, my yeah. God. I never used that, though. The M4 kind of sucks in this game. not going to lie. Yeah, that P90 fucking wrecked wreaked havoc. There's a dude like probably yeah, standing I know. Right there's, behind there's a guy standing behind me. <laughs> and you can, you can put a, a suppressor on that too if you want. A P90? Uh huh. A P90 sex? I'm pretty sure this is the ending of this like, it is. area too. Like once you reach like you get like through this part like we're into like the final cutscene of this part of the game. So now I need to use every cell of my being to get to that end of the Oh, courtyard. Snake, you gotta hold in your old man farts. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all the enchiladas. <laughs> the queso dip was bad. <laughs> and now I wait. 
Waiting has finished. <laughs> All right, see you here. Yeah, you're like right at the end. Like, there's not much more after this. Yeah, you get to meet uh, Ocelot. <laughs> snake! <laughs> Come up here and fuck me, Snake! You know, it was it was pretty great. I remember um, when I when we were playing uh, Last of Us Two, we got to the ending of the game. Um, the final encounter reminded me a lot of the final encounter in this game. Oh yeah, the the whole old man punching fight. Like the yeah, the one on one fight. Two old men punch each other. Remember, they're old. Dude, old man fight on top of gigantic sub, like, that's awesome. Like, probably one of the most epic conclusions to any game ever. And it's fan servicey as hell. Oh, yeah. But, like, that's kind of what makes it fun. Like, it's it's super fan servicey. Like, without a doubt. But, like... Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sucks to be you, sir. It was on the outside. They'll never know I was down here. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, oh, my old man back. You sliced it. <laughs> there you go. Compress. Noodles. No, you're good. Just yeah. Go through the door. Just go through the door, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Sweet. Now we get like a 45 minute cutscene. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's that. That's one thing I think in this game that they could have like maybe trimmed down a bit is like they have the the mission briefings in between acts, which like go on forever. Yeah, they go on for so long, and it's like I think uh, I think they could have trimmed that down a bit. But who am I? <laughs> if. Trimming down those cutscenes meant we got more gameplay. I would have, I would have gladly have made that exchange, but what's done is done. And then Kojima's like, "All right, in 2021, I am announcing the first DLC package for Metal Gear Solid 4 for PlayStation 3." <laughs> it's actually it getting updated to PlayStation 5 with an all new engine. No, no, it's not for PlayStation 5. It's for PlayStation uh, 3. Still? But, like okay. you have to, but you, but it's like the first DLC expansion pass in like a series of DLC expansions. <laughs> We're gonna expand the story from 2021 until 2030. We will be releasing three DLC packs: the first one in 2021, the second one in 2029, and the third one in 2030. <laughs> reason there's eight years in between them. <laughs> I sense Snake. It's 12 years from the launch of the game <laughs> from when the first DLC pack comes out. <laughs> oh, man. It would be great, actually, if they did this game on, on PS5. I'd be, I'd be into that. Yeah, me too. This is another one of those cases, actually, where... In my opinion, you know, you remember kind of how, like, when we played Metal Gear Solid 3, we're like, I can't believe this is a PS2 game. It looks incredible. Yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel this way about this game. Like, I can't believe this is a PS3 game. It looks fucking incredible. I'm going to skip this. Okay. Basically, Merle's just like, I love you. Don't, don't die. It wasn't that long of a codec call anyway. Yeah. I'm not here to stop you. I'm just here to watch. And I'm here to fuck Liquid. My old Why don't you pistol. just shoot him? Like, he's, like, in clear sniping range. Yeah, with a pistol, though? Yeah, but we don't have... We have a rifle. They've got a rifle. I know she just said that she's not in the position to take action, but do it anyway. Looks like she's taking action to me. Yeah. I can feel it. Calling in the year night. One old man versus another. Who poops last? 
Like <laughs> <laughs> just nothing but laxatives and stool softeners. <laughs> So he says activate it, but doesn't doesn't isn't he like deactivating the the nano machines? Oh, it's basically he's I I always took it as like that he's making the uh, nano machines go crazy. Oh, uh, maybe that's it. I thought it's just him deactivating them, like he turns off the nano machines. Well, then wouldn't you just feel normal? No, I think because like maybe because the nano machines like. Or like you know, regulating Helping. like regulating so many of your bodily functions that your body doesn't know how to process shit anymore. Could be. I don't know. I forget. I think they explain it later. But yeah, he's yeah. it's either way. He's either deactivating them or he's making them go crazy. It's one or the other. It's the same same basic deal. And then you suppress it with that shot. Yeah. So maybe it, maybe it is they're going crazy. Cause yeah, that would just be like adding new, new ones to it to make it stop. Mm -hmm. Where's all this dust coming from? Yeah, right. Ah, Dick. Use the gun. For its real reason. Mm, well, it's not like a glass of lemonade, so I wouldn't say refreshing. More like, uh. My nano machines are making me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you don't have it. It's the nano machines, I'm telling you. Doesn't she have nano machines? Because she's got cancer or whatever? Yeah, but she probably has like updated ones or something. I don't fucking know. Oh, because she has to inject herself with the shit the whole time. Yeah. Because she's, she's fighting cancerous cells in her body. That guy pooped himself. Did you see that? Yeah. So I like how we, we already know the whole story. It's like, spoiler, she's got cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I could see like you like at this, at this point in the game like we're not even supposed to know that. <laughs> Brother, fuck me. <laughs> it's been too long. My cock has gotten hard. I am no longer liquid snake, as you can see. <laughs> I have an arm again. Well, he had an arm before, but. So was it ever confirmed if like that's actually liquid or if it's yeah like it is liquid just no. controlling ocelot? No, it's or? ocelot. It's oh, just okay. uh, it's ocelot the whole time. Okay, pretending to be liquid so that uh, snake will fuck with him. Not that only, <laughs> but like other people will listen to him oh, because okay. you know, not everyone trusts uh, ocelot because he's like uh, a quadruple agent. Yeah. <laughs> He, he 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 is for his own and nothing more. Right. <clears throat> Ever since the start. I just, it's just a little taste of that in five. It's just been a little while. It's been a while since I played the, this game, so I don't remember all the ins and outs of everything. And there's a lot to remember. Because <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 4 is easily the most like plot-heavy... Um, game of the series and then you go to five oh, and it's like the yeah. and it's easily the least plot heavy game yeah in the series it goes from super plot heavy to not plot heavy i feel like there's more plot even in the nes game than in fucking metal Gear Solid five <laughs> i'd go as far as to say that honestly like the original Metal Gear on like NES and like PSX and all that, like had more story than Metal Gear Solid Five. Yeah, probably. Cause like five, it's just this guy has intel. Go capture him. That's it. That's it. Okay. Repeat that for like forty <coughs> missions and then Can I see your boobies? Come back. <laughs> You could have part of my blood because I put that syringe in my neck 
And if you use it, then your your blood is fine. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Too close, guys. Too close. His other fucking arm gets cut up and cut off. He just gets shredded. And the pilot's like, oh! Oh, no! <laughs> we can put it back together. We can do it. He grab all the parts. <laughs> Pilot's reaction is, oh no! Oh god! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, we're, so, we're in so much trouble. <laughs> well, who answers, who man, answers, huh? <laughs> yeah! Well, who answers to him, though? Like, who would they get in trouble from? <laughs> like, or who does he I'm answer sure there's to some, him? Like, you know, who would be the next one? One of the BBs? I, I guess. That's what I'm saying, like... They're... <laughs> He doesn't answer to anybody, right? Like, yeah. like Liquid's doing his own thing. <laughs> oh, that'd be so funny. Snake. Snake, are you alright? Start shitting his pants right there. <laughs> Gives you a little Hitler mustache. This is the only time he's not shitting his pants. <laughs> Well, he doesn't shit his pants at the end, either. <laughs> nice. I use zero... Flashback yeah. Watch 36. Yeah, 10 Dude. continues. Hey, you know... <laughs> half of those didn't get, don't even count. <laughs> Why? And all of those kills don't count, either. <laughs> Why not? Because... I used my tranquilizer throughout the whole thing. Well, most of that came from you having to redo that fucking yeah fraud so part. That's why none of that. Time. That's why none of that counts. <laughs> All right, starting now, we're gonna do a no kill playthrough. Yeah, I've been doing a no kill playthrough, Taylor. I've never killed anyone except for frogs. They're not people. Uh, they're frogs. Yeah, they're frogs. They're clearly. Frogs and, and all those people I mortared to death. They don't count either. <laughs> they don't. Because did you see them? They were asking for it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I didn't kill them. The mortar exploded next to them and killed them. I just thought, there's oh, a oh cool, there's a tube here. And I threw something in. This is a warning shot. <laughs> Only a warning shot. Oh, I can also view this main, this mission breathing from the, uh, the, the fucking, uh, yeah. Um, Mission. I'm gonna put it out there. This is up to you to decide. And they haven't. Twenty-three. You broke the fucking yoke already. She did it the first time too. She broke Stop both putting them. it up so high. She broke both of them. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there for you. I honestly say, if you want, skip the mission briefings. Yeah. There are there's some that have some good shit. But I think most of the time, like, all of that stuff will be found, like, like you know... Explained. Like, explained the after the cutscene is over, after the mission briefing yeah, is over. Yeah, they do tend to recap a lot. The mission briefings are, like <clears throat> I said, the only thing that, as far as cutscenes are, are concerned, I think they could have cut down on. Because they're so long, they're so drawn out, and they just, like... The first time you play through it, like, you're invested in the story and you want to know exactly what's going on. But, like, you know, again, they do reiterate a lot of it. But we get to see Sunny. Yeah. I'm Everybody likes Sunny. I'm giving her a little bit of screen time. Yeah, because Sunny's great. Yeah. Oh, thank you, bitch. You cooked me some eggs, bitch. <laughs> she did. <laughs> she Cook did. Me some fucking eggs, bitch. Sunny's cute. She should have her own game. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, the the mission briefings are very long. Basically, Snake's awake. Ocelot ran. And, 
Well, the only thing you should have done in that, actually, is you can control the Mark II and you can get an extra battery. Yeah. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. For the sake of of playing the game, I, I think it's fair for us to skip them. So he's going to... Uh, Ocelot is going to South America for whatever reason. And, yeah, so I'm going to go to Shadow Moses. That part... Head him off at the pass. Oh, man. Because if I go to Shadow Moses first, then he won't be there and I can do everything there first. And I can just go straight to the end of the game. Speed run this. I'm, I'm thinking back, like, over the course of this game, and honestly, like, because there's, there's five acts, every <laughs> single one is so good. Yeah. Like, for its own reasons. I don't... I like number one a lot. Yeah. Well, number, number number one's a great introduction. Like it's a, I it's think a, number three. That's the one with the hiding. Yeah, where you in, in the city. That one's probably the weakest. Like, that's probably say. the weakest in my opinion. Yeah, but like, but it's still really good. But it's still cool because of like the new elements that it brings to it. The 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 only real issue with Act Three is that there's not a lot of gameplay. Look at this funny you fucking guinea pig. Like, why are you out in the day or at nighttime? Like you sneak you sneak around the city or whatever. But you, like, barely do that. Like, there's really not much of it. Like, you do, like, one segment of it, and then, like, that part is over. Yeah. And then, like, the rest of it is you on the bike with Eva, and then the ending boss battle. Out of all of them, I honestly would say... I think four might be my favorite, my favorite act, because it's, again, fan service as hell, but it's so cool. That's the one where you're in Shadow Moses and it's oh, all yes, snowy yes. and shit. That one's really fucking great. I love that one so much. Let's see. These are not PNCs, right? No, those are all PNCs. Okay. And That's right, because people not in there. hostage up there, yeah. This this segment of the game is really great though, because it's kind of like it's kind of like a continuation of Act One in terms of gameplay. Um, but it's just like on a larger scale. See if they if they had made uh Metal Gear Solid Five more like this, I'd be into it. Yeah. More. Like if this were like an open world type thing and you get here or something. I don't know. I think we're just fucking being bitches about how we just like Metal Gear Solid Four more than five. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. After after we finish this, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably play through this game again because I love it. We encountered a snake. Well, just like kill it or something. I don't know. No, no, like the snake. Who? Whoops. Taylor's drunk again. Sorry. That's my, my bush light. You look like a bush light guy. That's not a compliment. We encountered Snake Pliskin. The guy from Escape from New York? No, the guy from Escape from L.A. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> my mistake. See, that's the cool thing, too, then, is, like, the Rebels now are, like, up grabbing weapons and shit. Though I'm not sure how that makes any sense because aren't they the weapons on the ID lock system? <laughs> SOP, as it's called. Suck my pee. No, it's answered Sons of the Patriots. The SOP system, bitch. I remember my lore. I remember my lore, Billy. Do you? Do you remember yeah. me? Yeah. Will you remember me? <clears throat> uh, I will man. remember you. I just want Kojima to make another game like this. <laughs> yeah. That's really it. <laughs> Back in the day when he was good. He's, he's still good, but... The last I think... two games he made were stinkers. <clears throat> you didn't like Death Stranding? You don't like it? No, I don't like Death Stranding. Well, that's your opinion. That is my opinion. That's I think, why I said I don't like Death Stranding. I think, um, I like Death Stranding a lot, but I definitely think that they, there's some improvements to be made. 
primarily the fact that um, there's just so much damn waiting. No, that I, <laughs> there's more waiting in five than there, like Metal Gear Solid Five than Death Stranding. But yeah, like I liked the gameplay of Death Stranding, but like the problem I think ultimately was that the story didn't really intertwine very well with the gameplay. No, like there really wasn't like <clears throat> a good. Um, fusion between the two like you never felt like what you were doing in the game had any effect on the story so like the story and like the gameplay are very separate things so like yeah, you could have doing like, two whole different things like they could have done like the story as its own standalone like tv show and it would have been it would have made just as much sense without the gameplay you know, like they didn't need the gameplay to, to justify what's happening in the story <laughs> and even then the story kind of has like these two like um segments to it I know you didn't get far enough in the game to really experience it, but there's like one half is like the terrorist group, like with with Troy Baker, like he's kind of the main antagonist. But then like the second half of the story is like Mads Mikkelsen's character, okay, uh, Clifford Unger, and like that's where the game ends, is with the Clifford Unger stuff. But like the whole game, you're fighting against Troy Baker, and it's like by the time you defeat Troy Baker. <laughs> You kind of think that the game has kind of reached its like pinnacle or like its culmination, but then it's like the whole, the rest of the game happens. Like it, in typical Kojima fashion, like the ending of the game was like an hour and a half long cutscene of just like stuff happening. Yeah, you know, and it's like it's cool, but it just like it didn't seem to have as much to do with everything else that you just played through. Like the Clifford Unger stuff and like the Troy Baker stuff are like very separate separate things in the world, you know. So, like, I liked the story. I thought it was interesting, but, like, I didn't think that it, like, really linked up the best, you know? So you're telling me it was not a jive turkey? I'm telling you that I enjoyed the experience, but I do think there's room for improvement. Okay. Like, not only in terms of the story, but in terms of just gameplay also. Like... I liked the gameplay a lot. I just think that they could have like taken it further, you know. Like it's a good foundation for a game. So if they were to make a sequel, I'd be interested in checking it out. Yeah, like the gameplay's not terrible. I don't have any problems. Yeah, with for it. me, for me, it's like it's like a solid eight out of ten. Like I, I enjoyed the game a lot, but like it's definitely like you know it's above average just, because just give it to me. I, I like the control. the presentation, the voice acting, the gameplay. I thought was a lot of fun. But, like, there's definitely more that they can do with it. <laughs> and I'd, I'd like to see them do more with it <clears throat> just to see where they can take it, you know? It's the anime. <sighs> but Metal Gear Solid Five, I don't think... I don't think it was Kojima's fault that it turned out the way that it did. I think it's only Kojima's fault. I think if it were up to him, he wouldn't have even made that game to begin with. Yeah, well, he kept saying that he didn't want to make another one. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I think if it were his decision, he wouldn't have even made that game. Yeah. He would have just been like, no, I don't want to do it. No. Because really, I mean, after Metal Gear Solid 4, like that, like Metal Gear Solid 4, like wraps it up. It's done. And then even after finishing the story of Metal Gear Solid 5, it doesn't really have any impact on the rest of the series. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it kind of does, but not really. Not really. Like, you, you know the ending of that game, right? That, uh, it was, it was actually all, um, sunny. No. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be a twist? That'd be great. She, she came back to the past. No, the, the whole, the whole twist in that one is that, like, uh, the character you've been playing as is actually yeah, not Big Boss. You're the medic it's, from the yeah, chopper. Yeah, you're the medic from the chopper. I just didn't want to spoil it for everyone watching well, the stream. What's the stream? <laughs> can we get can we get as many uh, emotes in the chat right now? Can yeah, we get emotes you, in the you, chat? Yeah, put emotes in the chat for Taylor being a big dumb diaper poopy, diaper baby. Yeah, to poop poop pants because <laughs> he he spoiled the end. I like I like that twist. Like I think it's interesting. You know that like then that explains kind of why Big Boss turned evil in, in uh, the first Metal Gear game in Zanzibar land. But, like, it doesn't fucking matter, really. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's such a, a far-removed retcon that it doesn't matter. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. I can probably start taking this off now. 
now that it's uh, a little brighter. <clears throat> See, this is one thing I really like, it's like the slow uh, morning to day. It doesn't really, I don't think it, it really, uh, it's only in this level that it really happens. Yeah. And it's obviously kind of scripted. I like it. Because they had that in, um, in Metal Gear Solid 5, like a day-night cycle. But it's like, you know. Yeah, yeah, where you look at your watch and you're like. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It is that time. Like, there's so many things in premise that sounded good in 5, but, like, I don't know. Something about the execution just didn't really sit right with me. I think I think maybe if it were, like, relabeled as a different series, I maybe, maybe I would have liked the game more, I think. I don't know. I could probably say yeah to that. Cause like, because I think, I think ultimately, like, when you think Metal Gear Solid, like, you think of the story and how, like, you know, good the story's gonna be. And, I mean, you know, in certain aspects, like, cer like the story isn't everything. Like, I would even say in the context of this game, like, the gameplay is absolutely fantastic, even without the story. Because God knows there's probably a ton of people who play the games and have no idea what the fuck's going on, but they just like playing the games. Yeah. <clears throat> but, like, I don't know. You and I are both obviously in it for... <clears throat> the story. But we're gonna play. We're gonna play five. We got. We got to do it. Yeah. And you're, gonna, and you're gonna suffer through it just as, as I suffered through it too. Yeah, but you actually liked it when you were playing it, and then you had. I liked it for a little while. It. I liked it for a while, and then I think by the time I had like kind of gotten far enough in the game, I was just waiting for like the good stuff to appear. And it just didn't. Because I dropped a hundred hours into that game at least, and uh, yeah, it just never happened for me. I think after I'd finished it, I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, I had gotten to the twist, and I'm like, great. Okay. And now what? And then that's Can it. Can I have more child mercenaries? <sighs> there's a, like, there's Can I have more child mercenaries? It was a question. No. No? Why not? No. I want to own them. No. I want to use them for their purpose. There there was some cool shit, like the boss battle with the uh, Sahalanthropus. Mm-hmm. Um, that, oh. was, that was kind of neat. Like, I'll give it up for that. Like, that was, like, because, like, they were kind of running it on the new um, Fox engine. And that had some cool shit in it. Like, the Fox engine was pretty neat, but, you know. Woes. Woes. <laughs> Well, is it that you? <laughs> what? What was you? What was you? Yeah, look at those tits. Shake the controller. Huh? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe she doesn't do it in this one. I think her titties are supposed to jiggle if you do that. Maybe not in this one. Maybe you have to call her back. <laughs> yeah, I think you have to call her back because this is kind of more scripted, I think. Was <laughs> I don't know why this like saying it that way is really really stupid. <laughs> no, 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 was do what I'm doing. His titties jiggle too. Was <laughs> was. <laughs> why did you change your top? Oh, it's fine. Just. Shut up. Shut, shut up. I'm trying to do something. There it is. There they go. There they go. Stop. 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 Maybe you gotta do left or right. Left or right. I don't know. But they're moving. They're moving and grooving. There they go. I just can't. I can't look at them. Ignoring everything he's saying. <laughs> Snake, you got this. I really believe in you. <laughs> Next time, I... little boobies move. <laughs> Next time on Chin Strip Chance, we get our fix. Oh my fucking.
Mm-hmm.